that guy? What's he doing around here? What kind of creature is that? He's looking a little shady. I think he's looking at my pumpkins. Oh, my beauties, I love you so much. It's taken me six months to raise you from just a seed. And now, I think this year is the blue ribbon year at the state fair. What's that? I don't care what the others say. You're my favorite. Hey, everybody. It's Army Guy E8. Welcome back to World of Tanks console. Today, we're here in Highway, and we're enjoying the beautiful crisp fall air. We're checking on the prize winning pumpkins, and we're also here to take a look at the new premium Russian Tier 9 heavy tank, the Object 752. There are six Russian Tier 9 heavy tanks, and this is the second premium in this class. It's currently available at stage 100 of the season pass, or you can go into the store and buy it. We took this tank into battle 65 times. We had a 77% hit rate, and we earned an ace tanker. So here's the bluff, the bottom line up front. This is a tough tank to play. It has a three round auto loader that can deal around 1,170 damage on average per clip, but the full clip reload is slow and the inner clip reload is slow as well. The gun can be derpy and inaccurate to go along with the slow aim time. The stop and go speed is too slow for my play style because of the low power to weight ratio. The turret rotation speed is also way too slow. It does have very nice gun depression for a Russian heavy tank, and it does have good frontal armor. Let's go check out the details. I love you. I know. I know. Yes. Hey, what's that guy doing? Get him out of there! Holy smokes, you gotta be kidding me! Oh no! No! Cover your eyes! You don't want to see this! Oh no! Yeah, just give me a few more minutes. We, I gotta finish up here, and then we'll go back out to the pumpkin patch. I don't know, we can try. Yeah, I think the great pumpkin might be able to help too. We'll see. All right, just give me a few minutes. Okay. Holy shit! Is that a war wolf? What are they thinking? How's a war wolf gonna drive a tank? Look out! I'm out of here! All right, let's take a look at the details in this tank. The tank's origins. The purpose of developing this vehicle was to improve armor protection while at the same time staying within the 50 ton weight limit for heavy tanks. The vehicle was developed by the Special Design Bureau number two at the Kirov plant in Chelyabinsk in 1952. The project featured a high density configuration of inner modules and differentiated armoring. One of the proposals was supposed to have an oscillating turret. It was planned to mount the 122 millimeter Mike 62 Tango 2 gun with a mechanized ammo rack. Speed, you're gonna go 40 kilometers an hour in this tank, maybe. The power to weight ratio on this tank is around 13 and that's what hurts the mobility of this tank. The gun, the gun is a 122 millimeter Mike 62 Tango 2 gun. The rate of fire right off the assembly line at Chelyabinsk was 4.4 rounds a minute. We got ours up to 4.6 with a four skill commander. Not much of an improvement. The reload time started at 34 seconds. We're at 32.6, again, not much better, and you have a 3.2 second inner clip reload. The accuracy is a .42, which is not good in my book. Aim time is a slow 3.4 seconds. Gun depression is 8 degrees. Gun elevation is 12 degrees. The view range started at 380 meters. We're at 464. You have 1,750 hit points. Ammo, ammunition. The alpha ammo is AP and it'll pen about 248 millimeters of enemy armor. The premium Bravo ammo is APCR and it'll pen around 318 millimeters of enemy armor. You're going to hit the enemy for about 390 hit points on average when you pen them. The Charlie ammo is HE, and it'll pen around 68 millimeters. Let's go look at the armor. 
The armor on this tank is not bad. The frontal turret armor thickness is between 80 and 330 millimeters. The frontal hull armor thickness is between 30 and 275 millimeters. This tank has very nice turret and upper plate armor. Perfect for haul down fighting. We were able to bounce quite a few shots off of this tank in every battle, even while we were on the move. All right, let's go take a look at the commander in our tank. I don't want to look at the commander, it's a war wolf. Bring it up on the big screen, the projector. I'm not going in that room. All right, he's up on the big screen and we're safe. I got to tell you, I love what Wargaming and World of Tanks console did this Halloween season with the 3D commanders. They look pretty sharp. We decided to run the War Wolf, and he has six sense, situational awareness, born leader, and camo expert. Let's go take a look at the equipment we're running. All right, we're almost done. The equipment we're running is optics, gun stabilizer, advanced gun lane drive, and of course, enhanced targeting information. We're also running food, get that little extra boost when we need it during those long reloads. All right, the Object 752 boasts thick frontal armor and a low profile, which are perfect for haul down gameplay. In addition, its pivoting turret allows you to raise your gun into the air and hide your cupola, which is your weak spot, and keep the enemies from hitting it. For the offensive tactics, the potential burst damage of the three round autoloader gun is enough to weaken even the most stalwart opponents. All right, that's it. Those are the numbers. Let's get on our body armor and let's go see how a war wolf can play this tank. I know, I know, I know, I see. He scares me too. He's big. Top Gun. Not bad. Holy smokes! We aced it! We aced it! Woo! Boom, 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 boom.